I've been looking forward to this. Welcome back to the morning show. Broadway star Christy Neversoul owns one Tony already. Word around town is she'll take home another Tony for her latest role in the hit musical Grey Gardens. It's a riches to rags story about Jackie Onassis's Onassis's it says, it says. eccentric family, specifically an aunt and a cousin who made headlines after nearly being thrown out of their mansion when it fell into disrepair. It's a wild story. Check this out. Most diverged in a yellow ward, a lovely crossing all around the world, the world around the attic wall. Around Please welcome Christine Ebersole. It's always shocking to see what you really look like, you know, after going to the play. I look a little different from the sweater on my head. I have First of all, I have to say congratulations to you guys for the great reviews. Have you been reading about that? Uh, <laughs> so exciting. Thank you, but this is about you. Okay, Listen, right. I want to read you something. My brother my brother saw um, Grey Gardens, and he texted me, and I saved the text. It says, okay. wow, Christine Ebersole was so amazing, brought me to tears, and I don't like musicals. <laughs> And I, oh, I, I mean, sorry. I've heard that over and over and over again about you. So congratulations Thank to you. you. Very You're much. phenomenal. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, yeah. can you, because not everybody has seen the Broadway play, can yeah. you remind it uh, us what the story is about? Because it's a true story. Well, it's it's a dramatization of the 1975 documentary that the Maisels made of Edith Bouvier Beale and her daughter, little Edie, and they were the aunt and first cousin, as you had said earlier, of Jackie Onassis. <laughs> And they lived in a 28-room mansion in uh, East Hampton. And when the film was made, this aristocracy was totally in disrepair. They were living with raccoons and cats, and it was just so Wild. hard to believe. And I think a lot of people in this day just don't know about that. That's why this this uh, this play is so amazing. Mm -hmm. um, Opening night, I know that must have been interesting. You also must have been going, oh, God, who's out there? Any Kennedy? <laughs> Any Bouviers? Have they seen it? No, did a lot like of the relatives it? did. They were there opening night. Uh, her um, nephews and little Edie's nephews were there. Uh, the cousins were there. That must and have it been was, surreal. Well, it was a little bit surreal because... It was so nice in a way because they really treated me like a long lost relative. I mean, it was because you seem like that. I, I I went back to look at the documentary mm -hmm. and I stuck it in my VCR. Uh -huh. I thought it was you. Oh, I got the the tapes mixed up. This is the Broadway play. Look at this documentary. Which is which is which? That's you on the left and the real woman, little lady, big Edie, on the right. Isn't that freakish? <laughs> and you See, sound I, the same, Christine. Well, um, well, that. Thank you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I think what I think what people are feeling is that it's it's really a sort of a channeling. I mean, that's really kind of my experience that I'm having, is that I feel that little Edie is a very much a part of the experience. Really? Yeah, I really, I really. Are you, do you know that? Do you feel like you're you're psychic at all, or you know, do you have those? Have you ever felt well, this way about any kind of role before? I know a lot of actors say, "Oh, I really mm. got into the role," but this is it, it is a well, little. Well, I freakish. think it's just sort of the way I grew up. I mean, it was just sort of who I am as a person. Rather than sort of wanting to be a star, I just wanted to become these people. Like I remember when I was a little girl, I, I had apparently, according to my mother, had seen somebody in a wheelchair in a hospital. So the next day, I spent the entire day in the kitchen <laughs> as a cripple. And, and my mother would just like walk around me like, how are you doing, dear? You know, and I just got, when I'd have to go to the bathroom, I'd crawl on my hands to find, because I wanted to know what it felt like. It's just a strange thing about me. Are you going to be <laughs> acting like a talk show host the rest of the day? <laughs> you want to be Juliet we don't want Yes, of, of course. Yes. Yes. No imitations so, of It'll us, be scary. Please. Congratulations on all your success. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Juliet. How does it feel? Well, it's been fine, actually. It's I not love really the dingy, and then you got it down. <laughs> <laughs> so you have, you have kids. I have three kids, yeah. Now, Broadway, Broadway actors are, I mean, you're doing how many shows a week? Eight shows a week. Yeah, kind of like every yeah. single day. Uh, yeah, you spend any time with the kids? <laughs> Mike. Well, not. Well, <laughs> you ever see him? 
They'll be in therapy. <laughs> uh, no, it's very difficult. It's very, very difficult. It's there's. It's not without great sacrifice. You know, it's uh, it's high ho the glamorous life. It's really, uh, you know, the other side of it is is tremendous sacrifice. Speaking of glamorous, the, uh, <laughs> I mean, this is this is beautiful. But you are you are. That was a great you segue. This a junk day. <laughs> <laughs> junk. Uh, no, not this, not that this is junk, but yeah. you have a junk day thing in your we neighborhood. We do. In Maplewood, Explain we that. have um, um, Maplewood, Maplewood junk day. It's Jersey? twice a year. Come on out, you guys are going to find amazing <laughs> treasures. What is junk day? Well, it's where people uh, put out their, what is their junk, which are other people's <laughs> treasures, as you know, and they put them out on the street, and if, when, if people don't pick them up, then they throw them into the garbage. So you're so, a trash collector. Yeah, I'm a trash collector. So but we have orange. This is the on? first piece oh. of trash. I collect religious icons, and this is the first piece of trash I found in Maple <laughs> Junk Day. So I thought that was a good sign. And we're certainly not calling that trash because that is no, a religious it's my treasure. item. It's your treasure. It was one man's junk, but it was my treasure. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's a very very fun thing. So do Maple Wood, New Jersey, Christine, come on out. Have a and get some <laughs> Are you a hoarder? No, I do not hoard. You don't. I, no, I'm not a hoard. <laughs> Are you sure, Christine? I have an, I we have can an help opposite, you. No, I have an opposite problem. I have an opposite problem that I'm trying to work. On. It's that sort of um, where you you f you have feel like you have to throw everything out. So I am kind of trying to strike a balance in there. But literally, I'll I'll like take things and throw them out, and the next week go, oh, why did I give you away that check? <laughs> you know, but I do that. Christine, so I'm you don't want to turn into your that. character. You know, you don't want to end up eating cat food and stuff you like that. You mean wearing sweaters on my head? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm guys, just a step away from it, but really, I'm not there yet. You have to go out and go see Grey Gardens. Go to that TKTS thing and get some tickets to this. It's, it, it's phenomenal. You are absolutely amazing in it. Will you come back and sing for us, please? I, I know it's to. early in the morning, but we, got it. we have to hear absolutely your voice first, Chan. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much.